Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to continue our look at file sharing. And I'm going to show you this week how to connect your file shares uh, to your file shares on your Mac. So I'm going to show you how that works. So let me just uh, go ahead and, and jump right in on that. Uh, if you remember in a previous screencast, I showed you how to set up file sharing and how to get your shared folders set up. And so if I just uh, double click on this one, for instance, and you come in here and you see I've got my file share set up. And I can share that either by SMB, uh, which is the uh, Windows protocol, or AFP, which is an Apple protocol. And ac actually, Apple can do both SMB or AFP. It, either one of those will work. Uh, but just wanted to make you aware of that, that those are there. Um, I know some people have had some problems with uh, SMB uh, working for them. So you may want to use AFP. Uh, like I said, it's up to you. Uh, but until they get that set, if you're having problems there, just go ahead and use AFP and you should be good, especially when you're connecting to file shares on your own local network. So we've got this set up. We've got this file share set up. We want to make sure our permissions are set and ready to go. I'm just going to go ahead and cancel that. So that's all ready to, ready to go. Now what I've done is I've got a screen share for a Mac, uh, my Mac that I've got on my network here. So we've got this different desktop here. And I'm going to show you how to actually get connected to the file shares. And so it's simple enough. Uh, many times what people will think is that they go into the Finder and look for the actual file shares in the Finder. And one of the things that's important to understand with file sharing uh, with server, and especially if you're doing it remotely, uh, you're not going to be able to use Bonjour. Bonjour is the service that puts the file shares in the sidebar. Uh, that you see inside the Finder, and that will work on your local network, so you don't have to use this particular scenario that I'm going to show you if you're on your local network. Uh, generally, you can connect to the, uh, the Mac itself and then find the shares that way, but especially when you're remote, uh, that's not going to work for you. And as, you, as you'll see as I do this, this is probably a pretty efficient way to do it anyway. So what I need to do is go to the Finder menu here, and I'm going to click on Go. And I'm going to come all the way down here to connect to server. You can also use Command K to bring up the connect to server window. Uh, but this is, this is where I do it. So I'm going to hit connect to server. And then right here is where I put my information in. And so I'm going to put AFP colon with the two forward slashes and then your server's name. And I'll put that, that information in there. Uh, now, if, if you are remote uh, and you don't have a registered domain name, you're going to need to put in your public IP address in here instead of the actual server name. So if you're using a .private or something like that, then that won't work because it's not registered anywhere. You'll need to put in that public IP address right here. So once I've done that, all I need to do is click on Connect, and it's going to connect to the server. And then all I need to do is log in with the username and password that I've got on the server that I've been given. So all of your users could do this with whatever username and password you've given them for network accounts as long as they've got access to the file sharing service. So let me go ahead and put in my password here. And once I've done that, I'm going to say connect. And you'll notice that it's bringing up all of the different file shares that I had on my server. And so these are the things that are available to me. You can see there's the file files. And so I'm going to go ahead and mount those that file share. I'm going to say OK. And so now what it's done is it's actually mounted the file share right here. And you can see I've got this file files uh, file share mounted here. And remember, there's that untitled document that I had put in there before uh, inside the file share. And if I just uh, you know scroll down on the sidebar here, if I click on Shared and go ahead and show that, and you can see I've got my server right here, and you can see how it's got this little mount or unmount arrow, and that's because this particular file share has been mounted, and it's showing it there. If I ever want to disconnect it, I can just you know click the Eject button in either location, and it will eject that for me. So that's how I get that file share going. Now one of the things that you can do if it's annoying for you to have to mount that file share every time you start your Mac is there's a couple of ways you can do this. Uh, I'm going to show you in a future screencast how you can use Profile Manager to actually auto mount a file share so that your users don't have to do it themselves. Uh, or another way that you can do it is, um, is this way. Once you have it mounted and set and ready to go, uh, we can come up here to System Preferences. And I'm just going to slide this over just a little bit right here. And what we're going to go do is come into Users and Groups here. And in Users and Groups, I'm going to go to these login items. And in this window here, these are the things that will automatically open when you log in. And if I want, I can just drag this over here into this window and drop it. And now what's going to happen is, is it's going to automatically mount this particular file share every time I 
log into this computer. It's going to go find that information and mount that volume. Now it may also ask you for a username and password when it does, it does that, which it will do for security purposes, but it's just an easier way to have those things automatically mount. And just a simple way to make that happen. If you ever wanted to remove this because you don't want this here, you just highlight it and hit the minus just like that and it disappears. But I wanted to show you that that's a way that you can do that. So let me just go ahead and uh, put this down. So I've got that now all set and ready to go. So let's do this. I'm going to put this down. Let's go back into server and back into the file sharing service. And one of the things I want you to notice is that right here we've got connected users one right here. And if I just click on this, you'll notice that it's got the username. It's got my uh, I, the IP address of the device that is using the file share. And it's showing that I'm mounted as an AFP share right here. You can see the idle time has been zero minutes but it shows that I've got that uh, that mount right there. So what this is, what's really neat about this is everybody on your network or anybody who is on the file share will be listed in here with all of this information so you can see who's actually accessing the file shares on your server. So that's built into the file sharing service. Now one of the other things that I can do is at any time if I want to I can disconnect uh, a user from the file share. All I've got to do is come in here and highlight this file share here and I'm just going to say disconnect. And it's going to say, you sure you want to do this? Because once you do this, then they're going to be kicked off. I'm going to say, go ahead and disconnect. And so it's going to go ahead and kick me off here. You can see now, no connected users. And if I just go back to my screen share here, you notice it gives me this warning that says the server is shutting down and that that file share isn't there anymore. And so it just locked me out of the file share and kicked me off so that I no longer have access. And if I want to get back in, then I've got to go through the login uh, process again. But I just wanted to show you how that works. So you do, let me just put this down. So you do have control over the file sharing service, and it does allow you to knock users off if you don't want them in here, but it also allows you to just monitor who's connected to what shares and how they're connected so that you get a good idea of managing the file sharing service on your Mac. Now, one of the things I'm going to do uh, in the next screencast is I'm going to show you how to connect to your file shares on iOS devices as well, which has a little different procedure for making that work. But hopefully this gives you a good idea of how to use the file sharing service on your Mac inside a Mac OS server. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own server, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.